Hey, what's up, YouTube? I got a package in the mail, so I'm gonna open it up. Dun dun dun. dun. Pro status here. Oh, paper towel. Um, it's a high grow. Um, high grow. I cannot think of the name of this plant. I'm gonna put it in the description. Um, they put staples in the plastic bag, so that's pretty cool. I usually try to reuse plastic bags. Eco friendly and all that good stuff. Actually, a really good idea. So I'm gonna pull this out. It's in a brown paper towel like you had back in school. It's really moist. I don't want to rip it out because I don't want plants to rip. There's supposed to be five of these plants, and they're supposed to be about six inches. I cannot think of the name. It's a high grow plant. Ooh, I don't know if they look so hot, but. I'm surprised they uh, aren't frozen. So, here's one. Looks really shitty. So, I'm going to put this in my tanks. Uh, leaves falling apart. So, I will go ahead and keep you guys posted. There's a better looking one. So, here's the plant all planted up. So,. I'm not really sure what to think. Um, it's been planted for a day or two. Um, I'm hoping it's coming back. You know, there's one stem. Um, here's another. I have five. There's one, two, three, four, five. Did I can't miss one? Oh, there's a mini one right there. They look like shit right now. I'm not really happy with it. Um, you know, that that's just a word of advice if you're getting into plants and shipping stuff. You know, make sure when you ship something off, like, you check the weather. Um, you know, you don't want, you know, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, look at that. That's brown. I lost a bunch of leaves. You guys saw all the pictures of it. It's been in here for a day. I just figured I'd go. I was going to make it the day of when I planted it in here. Uh, I just got busy. So, but, I mean, as you guys can see, this one's fine. Um, the other one in the back's fine. It lost a ton of leaves. But that's just it. You don't want to be shipping stuff. I mean, how would you feel if you received a plant and it, because of the weather, that you could have easily prevented and said, hey, I'll ship out next week or something? You know, how would you feel if you got plants that were like that? That would just suck. So, you know, that's my advice. They're in the back. Um, it's a uh, hydro, hydro, it's a hygro, hygrophilia augusta. I'll put it in the description, in the title so that you guys know. But I mean, I'm just I'm just kind of disappointed in the seller just because he just Im immediately shipped out, didn't bother checking the weather, didn't really say anything, and it's just it's very inconvenient. And you got to realize this: you might have someone new to the hobby, and it's their first time ever ordering plants. They check the feedback; it looks good. It's their first time ever ordering, and just imagine, you know, the experience they might get. They're like, "Hey, these plants look like shit," or you know. You gotta realize sometimes it only takes one bad thing to to push someone away from a hobby that could be a really great hobby, or it might push someone away from something that they might have been interested in. So, you know, I know I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube where there's a couple people that get like a really nice setup, uh, you know, quad T5 lighting, um, 20 gallon, or you know, some weird cool shaped tank, a bunch of nice stuff. And then, uh, you know, I don't subscribe to people immediately, but, you know, I'll wait, look up, look them up, and then they don't have anything because they got green algae bloom, you know. <laughs> so, but, you know, realize that something as simple as shipping plants out shouldn't be very difficult. Um, you know, just make sure you check the weather. I mean, the storm was something that um, was supposed to be coming a while back ago. So I'm just kind of disappointed with the uh, seller. So I'm going to definitely email them and see what's up uh, just because, you know, I, I spent not a lot of money on these plants, but it's the fact that I spent any money on plants and you don't want a bunch of dead plants and I don't know if these plants will make it and, you know, I'm not sure. So, I mean, I want to keep an eye out on them and see what's up and see if they even bothered to check the weather because if they didn't even bother to check and they didn't care to check. That's just irresponsibility. So, and that's just not cool, period. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not trying to be a prick. Just stating out the obvious. How would you like to receive dead plants? Probably be pretty pissed. So, and it was a very easy, very easy thing to solve. Just check the fucking weather. So, alright. Hope you guys enjoyed. As you guys can see, guppies are doing awesome. Questions, comments, feel free. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I forgot to mention this. Um, make sure you quarantine your plants. <laughs> I did not, but it's okay because they're guppies. All right, much love. Peace out.